if you found yourself here because you love lug and you're willing to watch any video, but you don't necessarily need a diaper bag, I encourage you to stay anyway. And if you're somebody who's looking for a diaper bag, but you don't want to grow out of it after a year, this is the video for you. So in the bottom front, there is a very shallow pocket. Now you can put a few things in there like diaper cream or keys. I don't think it's gonna fit a wallet very well, but this next pocket is really impressive. It's large, it's deep, it can fit any wallet that you've got. It's got a removable key fob. It's got two soft line pockets. And in between those, there are two pen slots. Now, personally, once the rest of the bag was filled up with what I needed for the baby, that pocket would become mine. Or, I guess you could split it down the middle. So this pocket is able to fit the Tango wallet, which means that it will fit any of the lug wallets that you have. And the pocket behind that one is a large zip pocket. It has no organizational features, which means it's going to be perfect to hold an iPad or a small computer. This is a 9.7 inch iPad, and I still have room for an even larger one. One thing this bag is not equipped with is a fleece-lined cell phone pocket. So keep that in mind. If that is a deal breaker for you, you're not getting that with this bag. There are other places you could put your cell phone, but not the designated cell phone pocket. And similar to the pocket that we saw in the front of the bag, you're going to get a second shallow pocket on the back of the bag. And this is by far my favorite feature. What other crossbody out there has a built-in laundry hamper or shoe compartment? So for a size reference, here is the ventilated compartment next to the one on the puddle jumper. They're the same length if you were measuring them on the outside, but I believe you might get a little bit more capacity in the puddle jumper. But considering the hula hoop is a much smaller bag, it was sized appropriately. Now these stroller clips are something that you're going to get on all three of these bags. They're going to be built in. They're so you can clip the bag onto your stroller handle or the handle of a shopping cart so that you can be even more hands-free while you've got your kids with you. And for those of you watching who are not using this as a diaper bag, you use this feature as an anti-theft feature, hook it onto the back of your chair, and when somebody tries to steal your bag, they're taking that whole chair with them and all three bags are going to have the same style trolley strap on the back. Now with this particular bag, the strap is not removable, but it is adjustable on not just one side, but both sides. So you can tighten or loosen it where the strap connects to the bag. And in between, you have built-in padding with sort of an anti-slip grip on the bottom. I believe it's an older style of their anti-slip grip. So inside the bag, on one wall, you're going to get two stretchy cargo pockets. These are going to be a bit shallow because you have the ventilated compartment beneath them. However, on the other side of the bag, the cargo pockets will run all the way down to the bottom of the bag, meaning you can put your changing pad in there, wipes, a couple of bottles can stand up in there. I can fit my son's size six diapers in those pockets, so they're pretty roomy and you are going to get a bag with this bag. And this bag is your wet bag. So if you're using cloth diapers or you've got soiled clothes, you throw them in this bag before you put them in the ventilated compartment. That way, if you also have a pair of shoes or something in there, you're not mixing them all together. And here is the changing pad. This is able to fit in that zip compartment in the front of the bag or inside one of the larger cargo pockets in the main interior. But one thing I will say about this changing pad is it's squishy, it's cushioned, which isn't true for all changing pads, which is just gonna be a nice little extra comfortable barrier for your baby if you have to lay them down on a hard surface. And remember, if you're not getting this as a diaper bag, get rid of those two items and it becomes a handbag. Or what I would do is possibly use this as a gym bag and keep the little bag that comes with it for dirty clothes or a towel. 
Now those stretchy cargo pockets on the outside of the bag are usually what I put my drinks in, but they could also fit baby bottles. And just to show that you can use more than the slim bottles out there, here is a larger water bottle. So if you've got those chunkier baby bottles, they'll be able to fit in there too. And now I will fill the bag up for you with the ventilated compartment partially full. That way you can see how much room you have around it. This is just a slim packing cube that I use to keep clean clothes in. And this is the largest transport envelope, which is what I now keep the diapers in. That way they're not exposed to moisture. So this is also able to fit a seven inch Kindle with a case, which means that you can put your own small tablet in here. And now you've got a diaper bag and a handbag in one. So you're not carrying a separate diaper bag and a separate handbag. Everything is in one place. Now, while the first diaper bag looked like a handbag, this one looks like a small duffel. And that is what I would use it for if I was not using this as a diaper bag. And what you're looking at now is a small slip pocket that has a magnetic closure built in. And out of all three of these diaper bags, this one is going to be your ultimate bottle bag because it has two extra places on the exterior to hold bottles. And I have a lot of room around those slim bottles. So like I said earlier, if you've got larger, chunkier baby bottles, they'll be able to fit in there. And if you've got multiple kids and you need to bring multiple cups, this is going to be the bag that you need. One thing I did discover about this bag is that if you put anything heavy on the front of this bag or the bottles that you're using are full, that magnetic slip pocket might come open. So if you've got empty bottles, put those in the front of the bag and put your full bottles on the side of the bag. Now, if that doesn't bother you, don't worry about it, but it would bother me, so I'm telling you about it. And inside this compartment, you're going to have a few stretchy cargo pockets and you get creative and use those for whatever you want to use them for. It can fit a splits wallet and it can fit up to a tandem zip. And behind all of that, you get a slip pocket that would be good for your changing pad or your wipes or your spare diapers or whatever you need to be able to grab quickly. Now this built-in cell phone pocket was a little bit on the smaller side. It measured at about five and a half inches. So it would be good for sunglasses because it's fleece lined, but not so much for the larger cell phones these days. You're going to get two grab handles. They do not have any anti-slip grip, but they're still very convenient. On the back of the bag, you have a small zip compartment and beneath that you have the trolley strap. But consider also, when you're done using this as your diaper bag, it doesn't just get thrown away or donated. You keep this for a secondary purpose. So if you're gonna use this as a gym bag, you've got multiple spots for multiple bottles. You've got a place for your pre-workout and your water and your protein shakes and a pair of sneakers in the ventilated compartment. Now, unlike the first bag, you are able to remove the crossbody strap on this one. So you can just use the handles on the top of the bag if that is your preference. On the inside of the bag, you're going to get two stretchy cargo pockets again. It's up to you what you want to use them for. You're going to have the same wet bag as before, and you're going to have the changing pad. Now I'll pack this bag with the same items that you saw before, but keep in mind that all three of these bags are going to have just about the same capacity. And if you're worried about filling the bag so much that you lose the use of your other pockets, I was still able to fit my iPad in the slip pocket with the bag completely full. 
Granted, I couldn't close the magnet above it, but still, you're gonna be able to have use of all of your pockets with the bag packed to full capacity. Now here's the final bag of this video. The shoulder straps on this bag are not removable, but it does come with a removable crossbody strap. If you want to use the front pocket for your wallet, you'll be able to fit any size wallet in there. I think the intention of this pocket was to be able to stuff some extra toys in there or something that you just wanna be able to hold securely because it is a little bit stretchy on the top. The pocket behind that is sort of a little built-in office. It's going to have one stretchy cargo pocket that is fleece lined, some built-in card slots, and two pen holders. On either side of the bag, you have two large stretchy cargo pockets, so that is where you could keep your drinks or your baby bottles. Now this next feature was interesting. At first I thought, oh look, I've got two cell phone pockets, but no, neither of them are cell phone pockets. They have built in straps that connect at the top and we will get more into that later. When you receive this bag, this is the pocket that you're going to find the changing pad in. It fits it perfectly, but if you don't want to put it there, you don't have to. It is a slip pocket, so you could put anything in there. And conveniently, all three bags will have wipeable bottoms. Now this is where this bag differs from the other two. It's not going to come with the wet bag, but it's going to come with two envelopes. One of them is going to be mesh and breathable, and the other one is going to be clear. This is the removable crossbody strap, and this is where you would connect it to the bag. Neither the shoulder straps nor the crossbody strap is going to have any sort of padding. And here are the envelopes up close. On the inside, you can see that it's lined on the bottom, but this is where you could put dirty clothes if you wanted to. And maybe in the clear pouch, you could put diaper accessories. That mesh pouch is also about the same size as the packing cube that I have. So you'd be able to fit about two or three spare outfits in that mesh pocket. So this bag doesn't come with a ventilated compartment. What it does come with is a stiff board. So when you're packing it away, you fold the board up and it can be packed flat or you put the board down when you're using it and it adds a lot of structure to the bottom of the bag. There is one privacy zip pocket, which is on a flap, but there is nothing on the other side of this flap. So if you're watching this and you don't wanna use this as a diaper bag, think about possibly a briefcase. I could see putting files in this bag, a binder, using it for work. It definitely has a briefcase feel, whereas the other ones were more like a handbag or a duffel. This one feels a bit professional. And now that the bag is full, I wanna show you what those straps were for that I showed you earlier. Now imagine if you had to stuff something that was unforeseen in this bag, something large, something extra that you had to bring, but there just wasn't enough room to close the bag. So this is a baby carrier. I'm not able to close the zipper, but with these straps, I can still keep the items securely inside of the bag. So just imagine what else you might have that could be sticking out the top of the bag. This is going to keep that in there securely. And to wrap it up, I'm going to show you how all three bags can be attached to a stroller. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you already have one of these bags and what you use it for, or if you're thinking about getting one now that you've seen the video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you are subscribed and you follow Lugnut TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you guys next time.